Haydock Park holds a proud place among the select group of courses that present the most appealing qualities of British horse racing in a North of England accent. Set between Liverpool and Manchester, in a part of the country where the textile mills in particular did much to propel the Industrial Revolution, Haydock's gritty character as a competitive arena is firmly related to its roots. Thoroughbred class is fully rewarded, but whether over jumps or on the flat, the course puts equal emphasis on demanding toughness and resolution. Horses that have won flamboyantly elsewhere often find themselves more sternly tested at Haydock. Crowds there take pride in being connoisseurs of guts. Haydock has an affinity with entry that goes far beyond geographical proximity. One simple but striking illustration of the strong connection is that the abilities of the ultimate Grand National performer, Red Rum, winner of the world's most celebrated steeplechase three times and runner-up twice, were significantly nurtured at Haydock. He ran at the track no fewer than 18 times. But in Haydock's attractive environs, the most remarkable feats over obstacles have been achieved by two other unforgettable steeplechasers. Cotto Starr garnered a mass of distinctions in his phenomenal career, but high on the list must be his four victories in the Grade 1 Betfair chase. Winning that coveted race three times inevitably made Q Card another creator of some of Haydock's most cherished memories. Both of those brilliant horses were always liable to punctuate their jumping with scary moments, the kind that caused admirers to watch the action through their fingers. But such nervousness merely ensured that delight in their triumphs was all the deeper and more lasting. When the 11-year-old Cotto star under his ideal partner, Ruby Walsh, returned to be unsaddled after his fourth Betfair win, the emotional acclaim was on a scale unlikely ever to be surpassed on the course. A statue of Cotto Star has an honored place at Haydock. Great horses, jockeys, and trainers have illuminated the history of Haydock Park, but there is just as much appreciation of the race goers who flood the stands and enclosures with their enthusiasm. Especially the inhabitants of the stalwart swathe of northwest England that surrounds it. Above all, this is a people's race course. <laughs>